no joke, I was shipped a camera in a plastic bag. As a matter of fact, this camera right here. Oh yeah, before we get started, uh, I did shave, uh, I think yesterday. Uh, yeah, I know I look 12, so don't give me any shit. I wish I was joking, folks. Yeah, this is a Kiev, or Kiev 88 CM. I think it's actually a Heartfly refurb, but alas, we will never know. I bought this off the uh, dreaded Bay of E. I'm somewhat addicted to making offers. And uh, this shipped to me from Southern California all the way to Tennessee. It's a little over 2,000 miles. Uh, and nothing but the case and a plastic bag. Now, this is where the plot thickens because the seller swears to me that uh, he didn't ship it in the bag. And honestly, we had a whole conversation about the camera, why he was getting rid of it. 100% positive feedback on eBay, a real camera guy. So I'm actually inclined to believe him. Of course, that leaves to speculation what happened between California and here. And the reason I decided to go ahead and make this video because one, I want to hear about uh, any horror stories you may have had off of eBay because honestly, in all the years that I've been speculating cameras off of there, this is the first real nightmare that I've had. So yeah, put those little things down there in the comments. Like I said, this is the Kiev 88. It's a copy of a Hasselblad 1600F, the very first Hasselblad. And it looks just like the very first Hasselblad. Beautiful camera, absolutely love it. That's what makes it even doubly tragic. Has a 80 to, uh, excuse me, an 80 2.8 Ars hat <laughs> lens. Everything was in absolutely perfect condition. I could just tell by looking at it in the listing. The gentleman said everything was functioning correctly. That was a little bit of a fib because this came with three film backs I asked specifically, were those functioning? He said, yes. One of them doesn't even have a dark slide, folks. So yeah, you know, there's that. Now, aside from everything else, the camera worked perfectly. So he said, of course, when it got to me, it was not working perfectly because the lens itself literally came apart in my hands. If you're lucky enough or unlucky enough to follow me along on Instagram, you saw all the stories of me putting this back together. I actually got it back together uh, does it work? No. Uh, it's beyond repair from uh, at least my uh, level of skill. The camera itself, you can kind of hear it. Maybe, it'll... yeah, you see that? Or you hear that? On advance, the shutter just throws. That's no bueno. Uh, well, like I said, I really hate that because, man, I'm telling you, even the shutter on this thing, absolutely pristine. These cameras have focal plane shutters, not leaf shutters. Oh. Yeah, and now it won't even fire. So yeah, foobar. Now the good news is I messaged the guy right away, sent him pictures, told him what was up, and uh, he apologized up and down, got back in touch with me in like 30 minutes. Uh, the refund was processed within an hour. I'm actually gonna be shipping this back today, but I wanted to share all this with you and tell you why I was even considering a Kiev 88 uh, when I had the big Bronico. And that's really the crux of the story, isn't it? You know, I'm going on the road. Hopefully the house is going to be up for sale here in a couple of days. We'll see. Uh, ran into a whole big thing with the siding. Fuck the people that did all this, by the way. I digress. But the reason I was even considering going with this is because the big Bronica, my Bronica GS1 that I love so dearly, uh, it's a big camera. It's not like ha ha funny big, but it's uh, it's a good size camera. I have three lenses, uh, three or four, yeah, three film backs, maybe four, I think three. And just to cover the ground that I need to with it, I essentially have to carry all that with me. Now with this, like I said, it's that classic Hasselblad six by six design, the square format, I love it. I was probably gonna have just this one lens with it. Even the lens itself is beautiful. Even though it's in shambles, you can still see through the viewfinder on it. Now, I was telling a buddy of mine uh, just a night or two ago now, it has this extremely pleasant look. I know that sounds like hyperbole, but it just uh, it has a certain look to it. And I hate people that say that, or I hate it when people say that. But I was really looking forward to shooting with this camera. And now this is not going to happen. However, fortunately, that has made me have a little bit more love for my Bronica, having these two side by side at least feeling the cameras. Of course, this one is much smaller. I love the ergonomics of it. It just fits so much better because, like I said, the Bronica is a big girl. But 
feeling the gearing in this camera, feeling how everything functions, and just the way the lens would be working, I'm telling you, I don't think I appreciated the Big Bronica enough. So I guess there is a positive outcome to this in that it made me really love the Bronica GS1 even more than I do. Now I will point you over to something else, guys. I wrote up an entire review of the Big Bronica GS1 over on Medium. I'll link to that at the bottom where I mentioned this, and I'm actually going to be putting a little piece up over this whole scenario with the Kiev 88 CM, giving you a little bit more details, seeing exactly what was said between me and this guy. And I'd love to hear what you think about it over there on Medium. Where's it Medium? Yeah, Medium's over there. So I'm gonna wrap it up, guys. Like I said, what is your worst experience off of eBay? This is definitely mine. I was not expecting this. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm assuming the guy was telling the truth. It would be ridiculously stupid to lie about something like this, but at the same time, he did kind of fib about the film backs and everything else working, but you know, whatever. Yeah. Until next time, folks, I can end these videos.